Microsoft Word 2010, Bookmarks and Cross-References. Adding a bookmark. Here we've got a document and what we'll do is we'll add a bookmark uh, to the words more information. So we just simply select this item here. We'll go to the insert tab up here and within the links group here, we'll simply click on bookmarks. We give it a name, we'll call it uh, more information. Now you can't have spaces within the bookmark, so um, I'll type in the word more, then information. You can have underscore characters if you want to, and uh, I'll just correct the typing there. I-N-F-O-M-A-T-I-O-N. So more information, so that's the name of our bookmark. To add the bookmark, just simply click on the add button, and that's it. If we want to, we can go someplace else in here. So for instance, um, if we want to, um, we can add a bookmark to the word limitations. And again, it's the insert tab. And within the links group here, click on the bookmark icon. Give it a name, I'll just call it limitations. Try it again. limitation click on the add button and there you are it's been added now you notice you can't actually see it if we go to the home page here normally you could click on the show hide here and that would show things but in this case we can't actually use that that doesn't show it up so an easy way is if you press ctrl G this brings up the find and replace dialog box and if you want to find bookmarks you can just select bookmark here and from here, if you click on the down arrow, that will show you any bookmarks you've got. So in this case, we've got two. We've got limitations and more information. If I wanted to go to limitations, I'd select that, click go to, and there we go. If I wanted to go to the other bookmark, I could go to more information, click on go to, and there we have it. So that's an easy way of basically going to good bookmarks within a document and seeing if there are any bookmarks within a document. Uh, one other thing you should remember, which is quite useful, is normally you go shift bookmark to bring up the bookmark uh, dialog box. If I close that, a shortcut that's use very useful, uh, very easy to remember, is control shift F5. So if you're going to use bookmarks a lot, that's quite a good way of doing it. I'll do that one more time. Control shift F5. That brings up the bookmark dialog box. So this is equivalent to going to insert bookmark. It's just a useful shortcut. Creating a cross-reference to a bookmark. We've got a document here which does actually contain bookmarks. We can verify that by pressing Control G, which brings up the find and replace dialog box. And if we click on where it says bookmark, you can see it's got a bookmark called more information. And if we go to there, you can see where the bookmark is. So basically, we've got a bookmark here, uh, which has the name More Information. Now, we want to create a cross-reference to this bookmark. So if I go down here, it says, See a list of antivirus products on page X. So we want to automatically insert the link in there. So the way I do that is I go to um, References. And within the caption section, there's this item called cross-reference. If I click on where it says cross-reference here, within here I can select bookmark, so that's the reference type. And at the moment it's, um, it's only got the one uh, bookmark in the document, so it's selected that OK. And you can insert reference uh, to a page number. So basically we've told the reference type to be a bookmark. The um, insert reference to is using a page number and this is the actual bookmark that we're going to use. So when I click on the insert button, if you keep your eye up here, that has inserted the correct page number for uh, that information. If I press the control key down and hold it down, notice you get the little hand. I'll release the control key and it goes away. Press the control key down, hold it down. See the little hand there? And if I click on that, it takes me up here. So that's my cross reference in place. Creating a cross-reference to a numbered item. Here we have a document, and if you look carefully, you can see this um, first uh, paragraph here. 
it's uh, numbered as with number one. Down here, this is number two, number three, number four. And as you can see, we're using the normal numbering to produce these numbers. So basically, we have four numbered paragraphs in here. So if I click here, this line says information about what to do if you find a virus or you know, to find information about this, see item, and then after here, we're going to insert a cross-reference to it. To, so to insert the cross-reference, click on References, Cross-reference, and in this case, make sure that Numbered Item is selected. So we've got various options here. So Numbered Item. Within the second bit here, make sure that the paragraph number is selected. And within here, um, we select the particular um, uh, numbered paragraph, which in this case we have to know is uh, number four. So we've got a numbered item, which is the reference type. We're inserting a reference to a paragraph number. And here we're selecting the particular paragraph number. If I click on Insert and Close, if we move up here, nothing seems to happen. But if we press the Control key down and keep it held down, you can see that's a hyperlink. If I let go, it disappears. If I press the Control key down, and now if I click there, we've been taken through to the cross-reference because we cross-reference to paragraph number four, which is what to do if you discover a virus on your computer. Inserting a cross-reference to a heading. Here we have a document, and what we're going to do in a minute is to insert a cross-reference here. So this first bit talks about computer viruses, and if we go down here, there's various other paragraphs, and it says what to, dis what, uh, uh, what to do if you discover a virus on your computer. So basically we want it so that we can link a cross-reference from here for more details what to do if you discover a virus. If we go down here, we're going to cross-reference that to here. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we click where we want to insert the cross-reference. You then go to the um, References tab up here. Click on the Cross-Reference button here. And this brings up the cross-reference um, dialog box. So we want to um, basically select Heading from here, because we're going to select, um, we're going to link to that particular heading. We're going to uh, reference to a page number and the thing we want to item is, or the item we want to select is what to do if you discover a virus on your computer. So we've got the three items. With the, the reference type is a heading. We're going to insert a page number as the cross-reference, and this is where the cross-reference is linking to. So if we click on Insert and then Close, if I move over the number here and press, two, uh, press the Control key down and hold it down, we should go to the correct heading here which sure enough is what to do if you discover a virus on a computer. So we've successfully linked the cross-reference here to a heading that describes what we need to know. Inserting a cross-reference to a figure. Within this Word document, we've got a line here that says, see a virus check update screen on page, and then this is where we're going to insert the cross-reference. So what we're going to do is insert a cross-reference here that links us to a figure. Not this one, this is figure 1. If we go down the document, there's figure 2. This is the, um, the virus update screen we want to link to. So how do we do this? First of all, click where we want to insert the cross-reference. Then click on References. Click on Cross-reference. And from here, select the type. If we scroll down and select Figure, here we uh, basically say which caption we're going to link to, figure 2, and here we're going to insert a page number. So basically what we should um, have here is basically a reference to a figure, which one? Figure 2, and it's going to display a page number which contains the link to that cross-reference. Click on Insert, Close. If I move the mouse pointer over here and press the Control key down, sure enough, that links us to Figure 2, which is the, um, the limitations of uh, antivirus software, and it's showing us this particular figure here, which is uh, um, an antivirus update screen. Inserting a cross-reference to a table. If we look at this uh, document here, we've got various items within it. We've got a table here. It's been marked as Table 1, with the caption number there. And if we scroll down, 
there's a bit here where we're going to insert a cross-reference that says see antivirus programs on page and then we insert the cross-reference. So how do we do that? We click on references, go to cross-reference, we select the reference type which in this case will be table, so have to scroll down select table. We're going to um, have the uh, insert reference to a page number and we've only got one table so that's been picked up automatically so the reference type is table we're inserting a reference to a page number and we've selected particular, the particular table here and uh, we already selected in the correct position up there click on the insert button click on close if I move the mouse pointer to this and press the control key down and click on this sure enough we're taken to the table in this case table one there's only one table so you've uh, basically established a cross-reference to a table. Deleting cross-references. This document contains some cross-references. We can verify that by pressing Control g This will bring up the find and replace. And if we click on bookmark, you can see it's actually got one um, bookmark, which is called more information. If I click on go to, that shows me where it is. So if I want to delete that bookmark, I can just simply click on insert bookmark this brings up the bookmark dialog box I select the required bookmark in this case there's only one click on delete click on close and now it's gone there's no more bookmarks in the page